Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Best Cooking and Adventure. Um, hope you guys had a safe weekend. And we've been here a Sunday morning and we head out and grab some red snapper that we're gonna stew today. And we will be trying to cook it in the yard. So hopefully the weather cooperate with us so because we've been scheduled to be um, getting some rain today. So, um, yeah, me and this little guy, we head out early and grab some snapper. And of course, he grabbed some goodies. <laughs> yes. So, I hope you guys all been, you know, staying safe, washing your hands, wearing masks. This coronavirus is real out there, guys. I will encourage you to get, get your shots. Um, get it before you start paying for it. Um, how long it's free. So, you know. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get cooking. Guys. So here we are. We're gonna make some red snapper curry today. I just got me some. Bane is shopping for fish. Say hi, Bane. So this is the red snapper. Are we gonna be having red snapper stew today? Okay, guys. So here's my red snapper. All ready to be cleaned up. They scale it and they cut it the belly for you. So I cut the bone off. So I'm just gonna scale it back and put some lime juice and get it all ready for this too. I'm gonna leave one or two hold and I'm gonna cut up two of them. So so this is like this is what they call snapper in America here. This is like the red snapper. They call it red snapper. Snapper, wake up! Here they telling them to wake up. Alright, so here I'm gonna get my seasoning. I'm gonna get some married man pork. I'm gonna get some basil, my shallot. Hi, son. So, you see my basil? I love it. The rain make it come. I'm gonna get some thick leaf thyme. It's a little small, it was really big. But we had to break it off a little bit. So it's coming back now. And this is our pepper tree. For some reason, our pepper didn't come that good this year. You know, the weather not been cooperating with us this year too. But over here, we got our squash. It's going. It's throwing some flowers up here. You see? And I think this was Bora over here. You see how it's left small and it's throwing flower? It didn't run at all. I think one is Bora. And this one is same. Over here. This an ultra flower. See a little flower is in there. But it's still climbing. And this is the next squash tree that gone up in the tree. So yeah. And this is our riri. No, this is the habanero pepper. We have some some in there. Let's see, so it's coming along. So we're gonna get some of my seasoning. It was nice if I spot a ripe one, but I don't see any to use. But I do have from last year, so I'm gonna use that. The salary over here. With the rain, they, they did pretty good. Okay, guys, so here is the fish that I just picked up. Me and Bane went and get the red snapper all washed, clean, seasoned, and ready to fry. And these are the ingredients I'm going to use for my stew. I got some fresh tomatoes, onions. I just had some purple onions, so I put it in there with some white ones, tomato paste. I have some all purpose seasoning in there, also um, with some, um, if you can see, it's uh, some old bay seasoning and this is my first seasoning for my garden pepper and garlic blend together so i'm gonna start fry up now as um as you see over here my pan is hot i'm gonna pour the oil in and get it all ready for the frying the fish catch me yeah guys so you put moderate oil like for fry fish How about that that should do good to fry it and with stew i um it's, so, you know, everybody do it their style. 
I normally don't put no flour on it or no curry powder or no nothing to base my fish. I fry it just so with the seasoning because I'm gonna stew it after. So, but everybody do it in their own way. If you you know put flour in it, then that's fine. Or any base on it, that's fine. So um, I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna fry it too hard. I'm gonna like fry it. Not too half fried too, but like not so hard like when we eat fry fish. And then, you know, because it's for the stew, so. Alright, so let's get this um, cooking going. <laughs> okay guys, so we're going to put it in a little fire. This is my little fried fish and rice. Okay guys, so this is exactly how I want my fish, you see? It's not too brown and it's not too... Um, it's like half cooked, I would say. So it's just perfect for my stew. But again, everybody do it their own way. So... So my fish is almost done frying. I have one more piece in there. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna do the big one right here. One more piece is in there for the small one that I cut up. I have the one, the whole one frying. Cooking. Red snapper fish. Good job. And you wanna get it from the store today? Yeah. Oh. And we get some eyeballs. Some eyeballs. He, he called black eye eyeballs for some reason. This is all fried, so I'm going to start with my, as you guys know, when I'm cooking, I like to put my onion in first. So you put them nice and brown. So I'll put all my onions in. So that's it. Put the oil and the nice and brown. So I'll let this fry up for a little bit. It won't take long because the stove, you know, the stove is like, it cooks so fast. My garlic, pepper, fresh seasoning, everything going in. My onion is nice and brown. So the way I like it. I just, oh my God, it smells. Nothing like fresh seasoning. Nothing like fresh seasoning. Look how good that is. Okay guys, so I'm adding everything here now. Everything is going to stick together. And because of my fish is almost cooked, you know, I'm going to make this cook really good before we put our fish in. So this is the tomato paste, my tomato, look at that little guys, look. My fresh seasoning, garlic, pepper, my seasoning here, this is my alfalfa, and my little obey, everything is in. Sazam, you see my sazam? I put one pack of sazam because I put some sazam on a season like this. Oops. And the smell, oh my god, the smell is so good. So I let this cook for a little bit and then I'll add some water to it. Okay, so you see how this is dry frying on my oil? Now I'm going to add a little bit of water in it to make the gravy good. See that? Nope. Okay. Add some water. So this is gonna make it soft. So nice too. And when all is boiled and almost to it done, then I'll put my fish in. So let this come to a boil and then I'll add my fish in. Boil, it's boil up here. I pick some shallots and wash it. Shallots, scallion, green onion, whichever you guys call it. So I'm gonna put all this in and it's ready for my fish actually. I'm gonna put my fish in. Look at this. It's all ready for the fish now. So I'm gonna add my fish them into it now. And then after you put your fish in, you don't want to really turn it up a little too much. You don't want your fish in to break. So look at that. Look at 
Okay. Okay. okay guys so look at this i put my fish in as i tell you guys you don't want to turn it too much so i'm gonna cover this now and let this marinate for like five minutes so okay look our favorite spoon that she always used to put with yeah, my husband my husband will <laughs> like that. that's the right spoon and buy frying fish and i fry the fish with it i keep using it Okay guys, so you know, I'm doing the hobby style tasting. This thing burn ham, so I don't practice it, but this is normally what he does. So I'm gonna try it. So let me do the taste. Although I lost my taste since I had the corona back in December, it didn't come back fully yet. So I will do one and I, I will let him, you know, try to. So let's see. I think it's perfect, but I'll let him try. All right, guys, this is my stew fish, all ready to eat. Smell good, taste good, looks good. Very delicious. Every, again, everybody make it their own way, and this is the way we make it. Okay, guys, so this was a request from one of my mom. I also mine co-worker, and back in the day, she wanted some snapper stew, so I'm giving her the whole snapper and some rice and I make some mixed vegetables there as you could see and I'm gonna drop it off over by her. So hopefully she could let me know how it tastes and I'll let you guys know. Hi guys, um, so I'm gonna do my taste test. I already did my drop off. Before I gotta get home, she called and talked that it was so delicious. But let me see, I'm not gonna fool, fool you guys, you know, if it don't taste right, I'll let you guys know. But it smells so good. Everything was fresh when I was cooking it on my um, so you see it's well cooked Okay, so I'm gonna have some of this mixed steamed vegetable with it too. So let's try it Perfect So I got that I got a bone and that way you gotta be careful for most most of these fresh fish it's really bone. You know, I look up for the bone. Okay. So it's good. It's delicious. This is the way we make true snapper, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. And thank you guys so much to all my supporters, to all my subscribers, all my YouTube lovers out there. You know, you guys stay safe and thank you guys again and have a good one until next time.